Hey creators! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy and this is Christy Creates. And if you're not new, welcome back! Okay, we are going to take three of these little hooks that I got at Target Dollar Spot. And they're shaped like little houses. I thought they were adorable. And then I'm going to take this board that was just out in my garage and I cut it in half to make two even pieces. And I'm going to take some popsicle sticks and some leftover um, end of paint stir sticks that I had left over. And that's just going to hold my boards together. I used so many just because this was a heavier piece of wood and I wanted to make sure that it stayed together. I may have overdone it, but you know, I'm extra, so what's new? <laughs> I'm taking my little stapler and using the little brad nails and most of them went in just fine but any that didn't go all the way in I just took my hammer and nailed them the rest of the way in and I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in white and I'm going to coat the entire thing. You could also stain it if you wanted just the natural wood look. Make sure to get the edges also because that will be seen when it's hanging on the wall. And I did kind of one and a half coats because I knew I was going to be distressing it. So it didn't matter if I got like super great coverage. And then I just took my black Waverly chalk paint and I took a chippy brush and went in and just distressed all of the edges and basically just the whole thing. I wanted it to look like, you know, old rustic wood. Now I'm cutting the tags off there. I was showing you that those were only a dollar a piece. And here I'm kind of playing with the placement. I couldn't decide if I wanted them to be level with the bottom, if I wanted them to be up a little bit. And then I cut out a couple of decals with my Cricut. You could use stickers from Dollar Tree or whatever. You could even hand letter it if you wanted. And so I chose this one and I'm just trying to get it on there straight. I did speed it along so that you didn't have to <laughs> watch how long that actually takes me and then I screwed in it's just one little screw hole is what holds them on and then I'm taking my black Waverly chalk paint again and I'm just going to go over those screws the screws that I had that were the correct length were just like a shiny silver and they stood out and I didn't like that so I thought I'm just gonna hit them with just a little bit of the black chalk paint so that they don't stand out so much. And I will speed this up so you don't have to watch it in slow motion. And you guys, how cute is this? And it gives you a place to drop your mask when you get home. It keeps everyone separated. Like you could buy enough that each person had their own. And you could even put the person's name in the middle of the little house. I think that would be cute too. What do you guys think? Do you like this one? Today's video is the Chic for Cheap Craft Challenge, which I host once a month, the first Monday of the month, and we upload at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today's co-host is Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs, and I just want to give a big thank you to Sammy this month for co-hosting with me. Make sure after you watch this video that you hop over to Sammy's channel and check out her video because she has created some awesome DIYs for you today. Also, there is going to be the playlist linked in my description box below and there will be a ton of creators down there that make some awesome videos for you guys to watch. Make sure before you leave that you drop down in the comments and say hi. Introduce yourself if you're new. I love making new friends here. 
make sure if you hop over to anyone else's channel that you leave them a comment and let them know that you came from my channel just so they know where you came from. And if you're coming here from someone else's channel, make sure to comment down below and let me know whose channel you came from so I can be sure to thank them for sending you over. Now I'm gonna take some of these little windows. I got these at Target at the dollar spot as well, or I think it's called the bullseye spot. <laughs> they were $3 each and I'd picked two of them up, not sure what I was gonna do with them. And then I saw in Kohl's that little window plant holder <laughs> thingy. And I thought that is so cute. That's what I'm gonna use those windows for. So I'm taking a little bit of my Total Tech Super Glue and some hot glue. And then I'm going to go in with a popsicle stick to reinforce that seam. And guys, this one came together so quick and so easy. Perfect if you're a new crafter or if you're a seasoned one. Now I'm going to take some of those little screws that I took off of the back. It had little screws and a little, um, it just kind of held on that glass that's on there, but the glass was glued on. So I took those off. So I reused those tiny little screws on the front to hold my jute twine, which will hold my little, we're going to call it a vase, but it's not really a vase. It's just a little like um, travel container that you can get at the Dollar Tree. All I did was took the lid off and I kind of covered the threading part of the bottle with some jute. And I am going to slow it down right here just so you can kind of see how I did it. I just twisted it around a few times to cover up as much as the threading as I wanted to. And then I tied it in a knot and then I put a little bit of hot glue there and then tied another knot just so it like really locked it on there so it's not going to come loose. And then where I put that screw, I'm going to connect those up there on that. Um, I will play this all the way through just so you can kind of see, like, like I said, it didn't take me very long at all. Um, honestly probably only about 15 or 20 minutes from start to finish so and it was really cute like when I hung it on my wall I was like oh I'm so glad I found this because it turned out really adorable and like I said I didn't know what I was going to do with those windows so so here as you can see I'm just twisting around like twice around that screw I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to put just the tiniest little bit of hot glue just to lock that in there so that the knot won't come undone. I'm going to tighten down that screw just a little bit to really snug that twine on there. And then put just a little bit more glue and kind of twist what I trimmed on around so that you can't see it. And then once I get it down, I'm going to put just a little tiny bit of hot glue at the bottom so that it will stick to that acrylic piece and won't wiggle around. And then I'm going to stick just a little piece of eucalyptus or boxwood or whatever kind of greenery you have on hand. One little stem in there. And you guys, how cute is this? It looks like a little propagation base. Like it's just so cute and adds a little bit of just something if you've got a little tiny, you know, empty spot on your hallway or in your bathroom or like it's the perfect little filler. And I think it cost me mm, total $7 to make. And the one at Kohl's was, I believe, $54.99. You guys, $7 compared to $54. I'll take the $7. Thank you. I'm cheap. Mama's cheap. She's always been cheap. <laughs> So, raise your hand if you're with me. Are you cheap too?
thank you guys so much for stopping by today. It truly means the world to me when you guys stop by to hang out with me.